backups, raids, NAS, DAS, cloud. With all these different places to store data nowadays, what makes the Drobo 5D so enticing? First off, RAID, or redundant array of independent disks, have been used since about the 1980s. Now there's really two benefits to using RAID, both speed and redundancy, and sometimes even both. Now there's technically six standard different levels of RAID, but over the years there's been so many variations and hybrids that really it's become a full-time job for some people. Now the nice thing is you don't have to have a major degree in technical computer engineering or anything fancy like that. Anyone can benefit from RAID. And that's where companies like Drobo really come into play. Now Drobo itself has many different products ranging from small portable RAID systems that are made up of just solid state drives or all the way up to big huge systems that would go on a server rack. So where does the 5D really fit in? In my opinion, it's the best prosumer RAID system out there, especially for the money. It is a DAS system, so it connects to the computer in either Thunderbolt 1 or USB 3.0. It has five bay drives that will either hold traditional 3.5 inch hard drives or solid state drives. You can even set it up to have single or dual disk redundancy. Now what that means basically is you can either have one or two hard drives fail at any given moment and when you insert a new blank hard drive, the other drives have enough data on them to recreate your files. Zero data loss. Yes. Of course, there are many different type of external hard drive enclosures or other RAID systems that do a lot of the same thing. So what makes the Drobo 5D so different? Well, for one, the little M SATA port on the bottom of the unit. Now what this guy is going to do is basically if you're a heavy user in things like Premiere, Photoshop, Lightroom, or even more basic programs like iTunes. It's going to make those programs start up a lot faster as well as just bring all your content to life a lot faster. Definitely a nice addition if you don't want to completely fill every bay with expensive solid state drives. Another really cool feature is the backup battery. Now this isn't a battery that you're going to work for hours on end after a power outage. Basically what it does is if you are transferring data or just working on a project and a power outage takes place, the Drobo will continue to read and write all data that it's currently working on and then safely shut down all of your drives. That way you don't have that frightening feeling of everything just immediately turning off and you hear a bunch of hard drives come to a grinding halt. There's nothing more frightening than rebooting your computer hoping that you don't have an entire corrupted file system. And finally, one of the best reasons to buy from Drobo is their software. So a lot of RAID systems out there, you have to completely manage and routinely maintenance yourself. If you want to upgrade more storage, you have to rebuild the entire RAID and it can be quite a hassle. So whether or not you are a beginner or you're just a professional who just wants to set something up that you know is going to work, that's where the Drobo software really comes into play. The software itself is very easy to navigate. It's very easy to find all the useful information that you need to from data capacity to all the health of your individual hard drives, updating software and firmware. Speaking of the LEDs, a really nice added touch is on the inside of the front housing. If you take that off, basically you'll see what all of those LEDs actually mean. So whether or not you see green or yellow flashing, you don't have to freak out. You can just look and see that, oh, it's just rebuilding your data. Don't worry. Just like every other tech out there, there's going to be a downside, and Drobo's no different. So one of the biggest things that can be a setback is their proprietary software. Now there's plenty of companies out there who love to have control over the entire ecosystem which is, in my opinion, a pretty good thing most of the time. It means that you're going to have a pretty seamless experience. When I upgraded from the original Drobo to the 5D, I was able to just simply take out the hard drives and stick them into the 5D and I was good to go. Now just like every other piece of tech out there, you're going to have issues. And one of the biggest things with Drobo is the proprietary software. The hardest part is knowing that you can't change brands. If you do, you'll have to manually transfer everything over to the new one. 
If you simply take out the hard drives and place them into a different brand of external hard drive exposure, exposure, if you place them in any type of other external hard drive enclosure, you're going to have formatting issues, as well as lose all your stuff. And I've seen some cases online where people have had major firmware issues and they can't do anything to access their data. Which brings me to my last and final point. RAID is not a backup. If you have any type of important information, I highly recommend having a secondary hard drive to back up to. Now it doesn't have to be another RAID system. For me, it's just a really large capacity external hard drive. Now I do keep this off site because if you keep both of them together, if someone comes in here and steals it, or unfortunately my house sets a flame, then you're out of luck on both accounts. So always have some type of backup. It could be a cloud-based one for carbonite.com or anything like that. As long as you have at least two copies of all your stuff in two different places, you're gonna be good to go. Thanks so much for watching guys. Definitely leave a comment down below and let me know if you like Drobo or have another brand that you think I should check out. Definitely hit that subscribe button so you can see more tech videos coming very soon, as well as give it a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Thanks so much guys and have a fantastic rest of your day.